Greetings, Guardians. This is Kit Kutcher with the Destiny Massive Breakdowns podcast. Back again with Destiny Tracker to talk about another weapon. This week, we're going off meta to talk about, of all things, a high impact auto rifle. But this isn't just any auto rifle, this is Genesis Chain, all caps. The Wrath of the Machine Raid Auto Rifle. Obtainable only from Axis himself and the chest you get after killing him. It takes some real effort and a bit of luck to obtain, but with a competent fire team and a willingness to work together, anyone can get their hands on it. So is it worth the effort? Well, let's talk about what makes Genesis Chain not suck. Before we can really understand what makes Genesis Chain actually good, you have to have some background info on high impact auto rifles. Now these guns have been pretty freaking blah for a very long time, ever since the great auto rifle nerf of year one, following the dominance of Suros regime. So right now, against a high to full armor guardian, they have a slightly slow optimal time to kill of 0.93 seconds with 6 crits and 2 bodies, although they can drop some lower armor guardians with fewer crits, but not fewer shots overall, and not any faster than 0.93 seconds. With only body shots, the time to kill does actually get a lot worse at 1.2 seconds, which is, well, blah. And that's after the damage buff in Hotfix 2.5.0.2. So, let's now, let's go look at Genesis Chain. Genesis Chain, as you might be aware, has a fixed perk set, which always includes Focus Fire. Now on high impact auto rifles, what focus fire does, and really on any auto rifle, focus fire reduces the rate of fire, but increases the damage. And on Suros regime only, it also increases the range. So that range buff not happening for Genesis Chain or any other high impact auto rifle, it's only Suros. So focus fire, like I said, it increases the damage, slows down the rate of fire, that's really, really, really bad for high impact auto rifles. It takes the time to kill from 0.93 seconds to one second, which is bad, uh, requiring five crits and one body shot, so still very unforgiving. Uh, and max armor guardians actually will still require six crits to kill uh, at that time. Otherwise, you're gonna be firing additional shots to drop them. Okay, now let's take a look at Genesis Chain's full perk set, which as I mentioned before is fixed. So you're always going to get the same perks here, no matter how many times you get the gun to drop. First up we have Whirlwind's Curse, which does appear on all of the Wrath of the Machine raid weapons. This weapon does bonus damage against Fallen, bonus agility when this weapon is equipped. So bonus agility can help you out in PvP, especially if you are a hunter, if you're a titan or a warlock trying to skate, that kind of works against you a little bit, but it is what it is. Next up we have three barrel perks. We've got uh, field choke, accurized ballistics, and linear compensator, all pretty much the same. The only real difference is that linear compensator does straighten out your recoil a little bit. Next we have focused fire. When zoomed, this weapon fires slower, but causes additional damage. We already talked about how that perk actually affects guns, and we're actually going to talk about it a little bit more, because it does not work quite the same on Genesis Chain as it does on other high-impact auto rifles. Next, we have a selectable perk column. We have Speed Reload, which does what it says, High Caliber Rounds, which offers additional flinch and is actually somewhat effective on all auto rifles, including Genesis Chain. It all also offers a small range boost, which is actually really nice. And finally, we have Hammer Forge, which of course increases range. It says it increases accuracy, but it does that by increasing range, which is really all that the perk does. Finally, we have Focused Firefly, which is just a worse version of the regular Firefly perk because it's only active when you are aiming down sights. So if you've got this gun hip firing, it will not have the Firefly perk. So that's moderately lame, but whatever. We're not really going to worry about it here. Let's move on to what I was talking about there just a second ago. Why the Focused Fire perk works differently on Genesis Chain and how that makes it kind of awesome.
So far, I feel like I've really summed up pretty thoroughly why high-impact auto rifles as a whole don't see a lot of representation in the Crucible. They don't see a lot of play. They just aren't very effective in comparison to most other weapon choices, especially pulse rifles and hand cannons. But even scouts and a lot of other auto rifles are just going to outgun these high-impact auto rifles. But I did say that this gun didn't suck, right? Right. Here's why. It breaks the friggin' rules for its archetype when focus fire is active. So high impact auto rifles usually fire at 450 rounds per minute. And focus fire increases damage while reducing their rate of fire down to 300 rounds per minute. 300 rounds per minute for reference is one shot every six frames. But Genesis Chain with focus fire active actually only goes down to 360 rounds per minute. That's right, it's 60 rounds per minute faster than other high-impact auto rifles. That's one shot every five frames. So one shot, one frame faster every shot. It fires just a hair faster than any other auto rifle in the same class when focus fire is active, which means that instead of the time to kill going from 0.93 seconds up to one second, when focus fire is active. Genesis Chain actually kills your enemies faster than normal, hitting a 0.83 second optimal time to kill with just five crits and a body shot. One of the fastest optimal times to kill among any legendary primary in the game. And even if your shooting isn't perfect, you can still reliably hit a one second realistic time to kill with three crits and four bodies or just one missed shot. In addition, if you're running high caliber rounds, which is my personal recommendation, you're going to be flinching your opponent pretty effectively. You do need to be aiming for headshots to get the maximum benefit out of that, but that's also how you get, of course, your fastest time to kill. So you should be doing it anyway. That's gonna make it very difficult for your enemies to shoot back. Now this is still an auto rifle. And like I said before, unlike on Soros Regime, Focus Fire does not add a big range boost here, something that Bungie should really consider uh, going forward, but that's another story. So that means, because it's an auto rifle, you're going to need to manage your engagement distances and make sure that you're relatively close to your targets. Even with a pretty solid range stat on Genesis Chain, you're going to start seeing damage drop off probably around 20 meters out and even a little bit of drop off can slow your time to kill down or at least require you to land all six headshots. Nonetheless, if you love auto rifles, you need to get Genesis Chain and use it and start blowing heads up. So there you have it. Genesis Chain is the hard hitting auto rifle that breaks all the rules and actually succeeds at doing it. Thanks for listening, Guardians. Before I go, I do want to give a shout out to my fellow host on the Massive Breakdown podcast, Mercules, for providing the gameplay today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe before you go. Once again, I am Kit Kutcha from Destiny Massive Breakdowns and Destiny Tracker. Until next time, Guardians.